Oh, hello again, welcome to the VK6ES uh, Amateur Radio Channel. Very disappointing. Very disappointing indeed. So I've taken the wire antenna off of the 230 down there and I've put it onto the MFJ998. I've taken the the, uh, the two ground connections off of the two th SGC230 stud, put them on the 998. I've connected that uh, uh, tail, here we go, through to the uh, the 12 volts coming down the uh, the coax from the bias T at the top at the house and press the PTT on the radio it didn't tune, didn't tune at all. When I came down here to the garden, to the end of the garden, I uh, I felt this and it was warm I thought, crikey, what, what's going on? And then I noticed that there was a nasty smell. And then I noticed, you can't actually, you can actually see it without me lifting it up. There's a bloody hole burnt in the, burnt in the case. That's, uh, there's a decent gap there, by the way. It's not, uh... So, my very expensive new auto tuner I took it out of the box and unboxed it a while ago, but I haven't actually gone around to trying it until now. It's a dead duck. What a... What a blooming pain. So... Anyway... I've got my antique meter here. Let's just make sure it's all looking good. I mean, the SGC 230, it's only... The, tw the, the voltage coming down the coax is only from the same power supply that runs the radio. DC volts, DC 15 volts. I don't know if I'll be able to do this when I'm holding the camera. But let's see if I can. But uh, yeah, I don't know if I can do this well. Holding the camera. But, uh, yeah, that's showing. Yeah, it's 15 volt range. So, Very, very disappointing. It's not the correct voltage fed down to the unit. And uh, it just sits there and makes a funny smell. So, I suppose I'll have to uh, pack it up and uh, send it back to where I got it from. I'll have to look at the invoice to find out where it came from. Uh, hope you found that interesting. As uh, as always, uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.